Yo, what's mobbing and good morning. Hey, uh, I want to apologize for not having a video out the other day. Um, I got a late start and then I just had back to back um, things that day, um, appointments, um, obligations, etc. But my bad, man. But here I am today back with the video. Let's get it, man. And I love hanging with y'all. So don't ever think I don't, man. Um, this, this has been a blessing to be able to do this. Um, and I've learned a great deal and challenged myself a great deal. But let's get into it real quick. September 16th, devotion, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Man, I remember being called a brown noser at work one time. Um, I was called this because uh, the boss needed something done and everybody had a different opinion on how it should be done, et cetera, et cetera. And I just told him, all right, bet, and peeled off and went to do my work, you know? Um, you know, the, I look at it like this. When he gave me um, my job description and, and told me what it was, uh, what amount of money I would be paid, and I agreed to it, I understood my assignment right then and there, you know? And it was never about brown nosing. It was about me doing what he hired me to do. And um, standing up to, to the agreement that I had and following through with my responsibilities, man. And I, I view my relationship with God the same way. Um, you know, if I say I believe in God and I, I believe the word is true and correct and I, I say I'm filled with the spirit and, and, and all these other things, then what sense does it make for me to rebel um, every time my flesh wants me to do something worldly? You know, I don't I don't work to please the world. I work to please God. And just like I don't work to, to please my coworkers, you know what I'm saying? I, I work to please the person who hired me, the one whom I made the agreement with. Um, I have no pledge to the, my coworkers. I have no pledge to, to this world. Uh, so I'm not ashamed in either one of these positions. My aim is to follow um, the instructions of my boss. You know, my boss can tell me what to do while I'm at work and I'm gonna go do it. I have no problem with that. My aim, uh, is to follow the instruction of God as well in my in my total life, you know what I'm saying? And and He can tell me what to do with my life, and I need that, you know, you know what I mean? So when we dig deeper um, into into the Word, when we really try to define um, God's truth, we find that um, the ego and self is the first thing that has to go, you know, and that's the reason why I was able to go complete my task. And um, not feel I have to defend myself against being called a brown nose. And you know what I'm saying? I could have easily been distracted. And so the situation at work is is like, um, is a distraction. But the same thing, like, like the people calling me a brown nose, like I could have been dis distracted by it, you know, um, and, and let off astray, had a bad day, whatever the case is. But it's the same thing in the world as we're trying to, to, to push the gospel and really stay true to God's word, we're going to have these distractions where people are either mocking us or, or uh, deciphering the word wrong and trying to put that in our life or implement that into our world. So it's like we, it, we have to constantly be on, on, on guard for that, on task for that, man, so that we're not distracted, um, you know. And if I didn't know the truth, um, I could have been in either situation. You know, my truth is in the scriptures. So now if my boss were to tell me to do something ungodly, that's a different story, man. But when we handle the word of God, um, the truth correctly, there can be no shame placed upon us by anybody. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. So, you know, is Christ at the wheel in your life? Is That's the question. Whether you're at work, whether you're in the in the community, wherever you're at. You know, are you easily distracted and led astray from from your commitments, your responsibility, your word, you know what I'm saying? And the word of God, um, first and foremost. So just we got to be mindful of it, man. The, the, the distractions are going to come, but we need to remain in the truth and be unashamed of what it is that we're supposed to do within the word, man. Get out there and get it. Love y'all. God bless you. Salutations. I'm gone.